What's going on ELC community? This is Jason with What's Going Down in Our Town. I'm joined by Minanda here at the NMSU Chili Pepper Institute where we're gonna do uh, something crazy at the end of the video, so you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for that. It's uh, ridiculous, but I got donuts and milk, so you can only imagine what we're gonna be doing. But Miranda's gonna tell us a little bit about this hidden gem at the NMSU because the gifts are amazing, chili plants, I mean, this is really, really cool. So tell us uh, about what's going on in here. Yeah, definitely. So the institute itself has been open for, well, it's been in existence for about 25 years. Uh, Dr. Paul Boslin, he's the fourth man to do chili pepper research here at the university. And it actually all started with Dr. Fabian Garcia. He was the first man to do chili pepper research here in, he was part of the first graduating class in 1894. Wow. So yeah. Over he, 100 years of chili pepper research. Yeah, definitely. That's amazing. So, so here at the Institute, they do a lot of different research, whether it's to help local uh, farmers, um, like improve varieties of long green chili or developing new varieties. That's awesome. And um, all of the new varieties are, they're bred. So there's no like GMO peppers or anything like that. Um, our peppers aren't organic because we do use fertilizers, but everything's done through traditional um, cross-pollination breeding practices. So you guys have your own peppers that you guys created here that are just native to Las Cruces, I guess? Yeah, definitely. So um, anything that was developed here at the university uh, ha has a Numex moniker on it. So you'll see it on a lot of our seed packages. Um, for example, like this one says Numex Mirasol, and it'll be at the beginning of any pepper that, like, seed that we have. Oh, that's great. And these will all grow local then as well because they're from here, right? Definitely, yeah. So okay, most awesome. of the peppers, anywhere you can grow tomatoes, peppers will do just as well. Wow, and we had a conversation earlier, we won't get back into it, on whether a pepper is a fruit or a vegetable, yeah. <laughs> but technically a fruit. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, now, tell us a little bit about these salsas that were made here. And uh, tell us also a little bit about this uh, unit on how they measure heat, the Scoville unit. Where did that sure. come from? Sure, definitely. So, um, the way they measure heat for chili peppers is they, originally, the way they used to do it, um, is they would dilute heat by drops of sugar water which is really inconsistent because like, for example, something that's hot for me may not be hot for you. Right. And if I'm going to dilute it, or if you're going to dilute it with sugar water, it's going to be like maybe a thousand compared to my 500, for example. Okay. So what they do nowadays is they run it through a machine called HPLC, high performance liquid chromatography. And, wow. they'll, <laughs> and they'll, they'll dry the powder and they'll run it through this machine and it'll detect how hot the pepper is because the chemical in chili peppers that makes it hot, called capsaicin and it's oil based which I'm glad you brought milk today because water generally you know oil and water don't mix mm -hmm. um, there's a protein in milk <clears throat> that attaches itself to that protein and oh, allows wow. it to dilute the heat so that's what stops the heat factor hopefully generally so in anything that's a dairy product whether it's cheese milk ice cream um, you can use sweets as well like sugar or bread helps but milk or dairy products is probably your best route so I should have brought more milk <laughs> All right, and so on a Scoville unit scale, how much is the, like, let's say a jalapeno? This is a general sure. store bought jalapeno. Yeah, so your local, like your local long green chili that we have here, um, that ranges between, like, it can go between, like, 300 to, like, 15,000. Um, jalapenos, for example, are between 30 and 50,000, and we have one that reaches 75, which, 75,000, which is pretty hot for a jalapeno. Um, some of the plants that we have here, which are those tiny ornamental plants that we had mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. Those are pretty hot. They're a hundred thousand, and they don't have a whole lot of flavor, but they're pretty plants. Okay. Um, and they are edible, of course. And you're talking about like the plants over here and stuff. I'm yeah. gonna show them after. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you guys sell those plants here too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're really cool looking, like for a desk or an office or yeah. something like they that. They make really good indoor plants. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so, what about the heat level of, let's say, this one? Yes. That we're so, gonna try. Yeah. Sorry, I was getting to that. Um, habaneros reach about three hundred to five hundred thousand. And um, the ghost pepper, which is also known as a book with jalokia, it's a pepper from India. Okay. And that's how they call it over there. Um, that reaches a million Scoville heat units. So it's a very hot pepper. Um, that was actually measured here um, in Las Cruces as well as the scorpion pepper, which is something else that we're known for, which is why we have so many products that are made with these peppers. Um, the scorpion pepper, which would be this one, actually doubles the heat of the ghost pepper at two million Scoville heat units. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So this would be almost, what, 200 times hotter than a jalapeno? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Pretty much. 
Okay, and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try this and see how it works out. Thank you, Miranda, very much for having us here yeah, of and uh, doing these. Also, you guys actually have a sell on your plants coming up in like first week of April or beginning of April, right? Yeah, definitely. So we have a plant sale and generally the, in the location of where we have our teaching garden, which is open July to October, open to the public. Um, we have a plant sale in there. We sell tomatoes, eggplants, chili peppers, herbs. So anybody who wants a local fix of uh, vegetables, you guys can head over there. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, dive in and give this a try and see what happens. So this is the two million one, right? Yeah, do you want to start with the ghost pepper one? Or we're going to do both? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if you don't yeah. want to. But no, we'll... I let, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's try it. Yeah. You want me to try it with you? You want to try it too? I'll, I'll go. I'll, yeah, sure. I'll join okay, you. Let's I'll do join it. you. Yeah. Is that enough? Or yeah, more? you can try more if you want. Okay. I don't know what your heat tolerance is, but we're gonna test it out. I don't know if it's <laughs> a million scoville heat unit tolerance. That's for sure. I can handle pretty hot, so. Okay. Kay. Well, cheers. Let's try it. Okay. It's tasty, actually. It's different. It's a different flavor. Yeah. It's like smoking. Yeah. And hot as crap. <laughs> um, that tastes really good, guys. And you guys saw that by the bottle. <laughs> Sorry. So that would be this um this one right here. It's not bad. It has a good flavor, like you said. It really is a good flavor. It's not just uh crazy hot. Um, it's actually pretty good. I didn't think I was gonna be able to make it through that. Yeah, it's like I said, the pepper itself is a lot hotter than the than the sauces that we have, but yeah. They have a good kick to them. Okay, and uh, we're gonna try this one? Yeah. Oh man, you are handling this like a champ. Like I, you're, you've done <laughs> this before. I have, I have. I've tasted all the sauces, so. Okay, and this is the two million Scoville unit one, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm starting to shake. <laughs> and we have water, I mean, but you brought your milk, of course. Yeah, milk, and I got a donut for you too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, cheers again. Again. That's really good too. That's hot right off the bat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh man, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? I mean, we're both wearing sweaters. <laughs> that is a uh, really good. Man, that's super hot. I gotta I gotta walk this out for a second. <laughs> Maybe because I know what I was expecting and you didn't, I'm like handling a lot better. Okay. Well, why I walk this out, guys, look, they have books. <laughs> Let me divert attention from my face before I they got books, shirts, hats, plants, coffee mugs. They have really a... Uh, anything chili related. Anything chili related that you can think of. Wow, that is hot. <laughs> I'm not, are you going to reach for water or anything? I, I have can to... Can I reach for milk? Sure, go for is it. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's hot. Yeah, like I said, maybe it's just because I, I was expecting it. So I like... Yeah, I was not expecting it. You handled this like such a champ. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, NMSU, Chili Pepper Institute, come check this place out. Talk to Miranda. She knows everything there is to know about New Mexico chilies. And uh, that's what's going down in our town. That's it. Shut it off. <laughs>